Hey guys, this is Miss Paige, and we are going to be going over our third six weeks review, or our binder three review. Um, on this, we have, it is a 10 page thing, so we're going to be taking some time with this. I may break it up into a couple of different videos so it doesn't go on forever. Um, so looking at the first question, it asks, oh, before I start doing that, I want to tell you guys, make sure that before you are watching this video that you have actually worked this out for yourself and that you're just using this video to check your answers because if you try to um, learn from just watching the video without having attempted to yourself, you're hurting yourself, okay? Make sure that you have tried it on your own and then watch it on here and see what you got right, what you got wrong, and understand what you didn't know before because if you're just listening to this page, it's not helping you nearly as much, okay? It does help, but not nearly as much. So, anyway, going back to question number one, the percent of change. The percent of change is the amount of change as a percent. Very simple. The two types of percent of change are percent increase. Remember that's when it goes up, percent of increase. And then the other one is percent decrease. Remember decreasing is going down. Okay, explain how you find a percent of change. Well, whenever you're finding a percent of change, remember I told you that this is one that I wanted y'all so badly to have on your math chart, but they don't get it to us, so you have to memorize this. It is the amount of change divided by the original amount, or whatever the amount was first, is equal to x, the percent, over 100. I shouldn't put an X there because sometimes X is one of these, so let me scratch that out. A percent over 100. Okay. Number two, if a value increases from 4 to 6, what is the percent of increase? Well, we're going to find our amount of change. That is 6 minus 4. If we subtract that, we'll have the amount of change, and the original amount is what it was first. It was from 4, so that was first, we put that there, equals, it's asking what is the percent, so that tells us that's our unknown, so x goes there, over 100, and if I subtract that, I get 2 over 4, which is the same thing as 1 over 2, or a 50% change, okay, so let me show the steps, 2 over 4 equals x over 100. Half of 4 is 2. Half of 100 is 50. So that is a 50 percent. It is a percent of increase because it goes from 4 to 6. It's going up. 50 percent increase. Okay. Show you what I'm doing. If a value decreases from 80 to 64, what is the percent of decrease? Well, this time we find the difference. Same as before. The original amount is that 80, and that equals to what is the percent? So our x goes up here. Remember, we're just filling in these pieces each time over 100. So now we've got a little bit bigger numbers. We've got 16, because 80 minus 64 is 16, over 80 equals x over 100. Okay, you, you probably don't see this. You may, but 16 divided by 16 goes one time. 16 goes into 80 five times, okay? And 1 over 5 is a lot easier to work with than 16 over 80. So I'm going to use this one-fifth, and 5 divided by 5 is 1, so 100 divided by 5 is 20. The other option there, instead of me doing that little shortcut, guys, is to cross, multiply, and divide. You're still going to get the same answers. So 
So I hope that's what you thought whenever you worked it out. A 20%, oh my goodness, I put increase. I meant to put decrease. Decrease. There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, if the sales tax is 8%, what will the amount of tax on an item that, what will be the amount of tax on an item that costs $48? Okay. So we're going to um, use part over the whole equals a percent over 100. If we fill in these numbers, the part is the amount of tax. That's our x. That's our unknown. Okay. So we're going to call the part x. The whole is the cost of the item, $48. Let me make that equal sign there. The percent is 8%, and then we have 100. Okay? Cross multiply and divide this. 48 times 8. over 100. And you should have got, when you multiplied that, 48 times 8, 64, 32 plus 6 gives me 38, so 384. 384 divided by 100 gives me 3.84. So, the amount of tax is three dollars and eighty four cents. It's only asking us for the tax on the item, it's not asking us for the total cost, so we're just going to leave it there. Okay?